Hi, this is Jared from Shuno, and today I want to talk briefly about my ARCHICAD 19 work environment. So, one of the big changes between ARCHICAD 18 and ARCHICAD 19 was the work environment was greatly improved. As I've written about before, and as I'll have some more information in the accompanying blog post, I think the changes are fantastic, and this is a perfect time for you to rework everything you do or everything that's part of your work environment to streamline, essentially. So I'm going to do a quick overview of what I have set up and what I've changed. Um, one of the big things I've done is up here at the top of the screen, I have made a toolbar. And I've made a custom one. So let's see if we can go to Window, Toolbars. We see what I have up there. I have the Shunome toolbar. Uh, I have Teamwork. I have quick layers, which is actually down in the bottom right, um, edit elements, and attributes. So let's take a look at all those real quick. So this first one up here, oh, uh, if I move this guy here, that's my Shunome toolbar. What it is, is it's basically all the bits of the, um, the standard toolbar, uh, but with all the garbage I don't need. Like, I don't need a button for print or save or open or undo or syringe. This is all wasted garbage that you shouldn't have on your screen because if you don't know how to save without clicking a button, you are doing it wrong. If you don't know how to do parameter transfer without clicking a button, you're doing it wrong. And then, of course, there's other things in this standard toolbar, like guidelines, which I'm, if I have down here. So I've got, I've cleaned that up. I've uh, left the um, that toolbar, which is the edit elements toolbar, up. Um, I don't have keyboard shortcuts for all of these element or all these functions anymore. So uh, having buttons up there is great. I have teamwork up there because I use teamwork just often enough that I want it. Down here. I've got the attribute uh, palette open, or toolbar open, which is, again, one of these things you have to have in your work environment, because you need to be able to just get to building materials at any time, or get to complex profiles, or get to surfaces. Just get to all the attributes, because you need them, and you want to be able to use them regularly. And then down here, I have the uh, quick layers toolbar, which I can't remember if I made or not. I might have made it. Um, the actual quick layers palette doesn't dock properly, so uh, if this isn't default, you can just go make it yourself and plop it down there. It's uglier, but it works. Okay, so what else do we have on the screen? On the left-hand side of the screen, I have basically my element creation area. So I have my vertical toolbar. I have, let's just go here so I can put on tools. So I have my vertical toolbar, then I have my vertical info box, which I can scroll through. Um, as I've discussed in ancient videos and um, blog posts, I go into the work environment and uh, go to info box and I scroll through and I turn on everything because by default not everything is turned on, but why wouldn't you want everything turned on? So you have all your options there. So below the info box I have my favorites, again. If I'm working with tools and making tools, I want to have my favorites right there because I should be starting with favorites. On the right-hand side of the screen, I have the navigator. Below that, the renovation um, palette, whatever that's called, and then quick options. So that's the basic layout of the screen. I also have a um, another work environment for when I'm doing renderings, my Shunome rendering profile, which I'll show you the big difference here. Um, turn on, if you set this up, oh, if you go to this profile without being in the 3D window, um, the, there it is, the Surface Painter. That's up part of it too. So basically, if I'm working on renderings, I've got the this rendering palette just floating, I might just kind of set it off somewhere. 
Uh, I've got the Surface Painter, which is just amazing. Um, we can cover that in another video. Then I still have my element information, or the info box. I've got my renovation status, quick layers, and favorites there. So I've turned off things and condensed stuff to give myself more room and to focus on the Surface Painter. Well, let's go back to my um, regular work environment. I want to talk about one other thing, and then we'll call it a day. Um, well, let's talk about two different things. One, uh, accompanying this video will be a blog post that hopefully talks about keyboard shortcuts. I have revamped all my key keyboard shortcuts to align them with the Archicad 19 standard. I know a lot of us have legacy keyboard shortcuts going back to Archicad 9, Archicad 6.5, Archicad you know, 4.55, whatever. And I think it's time we got rid of those and learned that you know, Graphsoft wants us to use certain other keyboard shortcuts. Um, and there are still a few that I disagree with, but for the most part, I have forced myself to align with the standard because moving forward, Graphsoft is going to add new keyboard shortcuts and they're going to build off their uh, structure. And as far as I know, their, their structure hasn't changed in about eight or nine versions. Uh, and for many of us, we didn't like that change from ARCHICAD 9 to 10 or 10 to 11, whatever happened, and we resisted it. But it's time to get over that. Okay, that's an aside. The last thing I want to talk about is the info box. And if you notice, in my info box, and let's go back to uh, the work environment options here, um, in the info box, not only did I turn on everything, which you can do here, you can also rearrange where things show up in that list. And what I've done, if you scroll through my work environment, uh, which I'm going to have a link on my website to download as well, um, you'll notice some things. In every element, it goes the layer, the ID, tags, and categories. Every element. Because with my work environment, I want to remind myself and I want to stress to everyone else who's using my work environment or inspired by my work environment that the things that are most important are layer, ID, and tags and categories, which is where we get you know, IFC information. So, for instance, we open up tags and categories on this favorite door, here's information that matters. You know, as we get deeper into BIM, as we move into 2016, 2017, 2020, etc., having important information that is text-based is going to be ever more important. So as you notice, with my work environment, I'm putting tags and categories of a wall ahead of what the composite is, or how it's drawn, or what the surface is, because I'm trying to get myself to understand that, in fact, this data is more important than the geometry, what comes next. Yes, geometry is important, yes, of course, but we have to have this paradigm shift with BIM where we're thinking about what things are. And one of the big ways to understand what stuff is is through tags and categories, and this is only going to get more and more important. So that's all I have to say about my work environment. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the blog post, and um, yeah, have a good night, or a good day, or a good morning, whatever it is you're watching this video.